Oh, we've made it. We're here. We got to document Josh's sign. Josh. Josh, we're coming. Josh, nice sign. All right, we're here. Back we're back. back. Hey, we're back in New Jersey, and we're back at Josh's. But we are with Mark today. Say what's up, Mark. Good morning. We're getting wheels. Oh, we're getting wheels and tires for Mark's truck. We're giving it right away, right in the intro. Right here we are. Josh, you need some more parking space. All right, we're back here. Josh said he's excited to be on camera today. What is going on? Welcome back, my friends. We have woken up early today. We have driven, there's stuff flying everywhere, but we are we are back up in New Jersey, Pennsylvania. And like I said, we are, we are with Mark today because Mark, uh, if you guys remember in previous videos, Hey Mark, Mark, you parked about just as good. <laughs> you parked about just as good as I did when I came here. Uh, look at Mark's beautiful dually. It is time. It is time to upgrade. So who doesn't love new wheels and tires? Uh, so Mark's Mark's truck is going to be getting stacked out today. You guys know that we had to come to Dirty Diesels and see our man Josh. And we've also actually got some wheels and tires that I trucked up here from Kentucky that uh, I had bought. Um, I think these may be going on uh, maybe Allie's truck. But we're actually going to be selling the, the NATO 420s that are on here. These are going to be for sale. We're going to sell those. And what are you, you wiping her off? A little dirty, so we might be we might be getting some new uh, new tires for these for Allie's truck. But we brought these along, so we're just gonna go in here and bother Josh all day. But uh, the big the big thing of the day is we got wheels and tires for Mark's truck that Josh ordered in for us. So look at CJ. I know I know CJ. I, these I w I was going to buy these, uh, but they're eight by one seventy. But these weld these weld wheels are really cool. Mark, do you like these? You see these welds? I do. I like those. I like those They're ones. nice. Went ahead ahead of time in one of the previous videos. We got Mark set up with the uh, with the Thurn Springs. So he is ready. He is ready. You got him got him the goods? We got him the goods. All right. We didn't go too saucy now with the wheels. We went just, you know. Yeah, Mark. Mark saucy. We went, we 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 didn't go full we didn't go full crazy on the wheels and tires. So Whew. stacked. Everyone's stacked around here. Oh yeah. your stock wheels and tires cream things 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 are about to get interesting oh yeah all right mark do we want to show them the new ones all right so we went with some uh hey josh what the, what model tis's are these hey, hey mustache man mustache man CJ, where's your mustache, dude? After lunch? All right, I won't. We won't show the mustaches. Apparently, you gotta have a mustache here now. But we went with uh, some TIS wheels for Mark. Got some 20s, roughly about a 34, 35. This is the tire size we went with. It's kind of like an in-between 275, 55, 20. Cooper, what are these? AT Discover AT3s. Got a nice, got a nice sidewall to them, but more of a all-terrain street tread on them. Keep things nice and quiet. But honestly, I, I think I like the tires more than what I thought in the pictures. They look good. So we got the TIS dually wheels, normal fronts. So we're gonna put these bad boys on. See what the, see what they look like. Look at that. We're already jacked up. Oh my goodness. It's time. It's time. Mark, are you? You scared? You scared? You're very scared. It's gonna get wide. It's gonna. You're gonna be stacked out, dude. It's gonna be good. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, dismount these. Uh, dismount these tires while they're doing that.
feeling? Ooh, that's spicy. That is spicy. I can't wait. I can't wait to see it outside. You know, this is an Instagram spot right outside here. You gotta take a gotta take a picture. Stop rubbing on it, Mark. You gonna video this? You want me to video this? We uh we dismounted. Everybody wants to know about the stash. Actually, nobody wants to know about the nobody stash. Wants to know about that. But we're going with some. We're gonna. <laughs> Josh, Josh's wife's really just a big fan of the mustache. Honestly, I feel like I feel like that was pure sarcasm. This is pure sarcasm. Uh, I have not met one significant other that their uh, our husband or boyfriend has done a mustache that they've liked. I've never met one woman wow. who has been about their significant other doing a mustache. Mark, what do you think? You think I should do it? Just come come home from come home from my trip. We just just write to Allie. Do it now or do it at lunch? At lunch, everyone's gonna do it at lunch. I don't know. That's that's pretty bold. That's pretty bold. Ooh. Had to go with uh, had to go with the Ridge Grapplers. Look at that little truck, no cheetah. You know, just just a just a nice unit. Use the tools at hand. Wow. So went with some 30, 33. 1250 22s. This thing is looking good now. Man, you can't beat the beat the meat in the back, man. The meat in the back is nice. No rubbing. Everything clears. They look good. They're not super, super, super wide. No, it's just enough. It's just what I yeah, mine, mine stick, stuck out way further than that, didn't they? <laughs> I like the extra sauce. You know, these are. This is a mild spicy. <laughs> Man, I wasn't really uh, too sure about the uh, tread on these tires, but honestly, the the sidewall makes them look really nice. From the, I, I like it. I think we nailed it. You know. Mild spicy for Mark. All right, pull pull away so I can so I can see the booty. You know what I mean? Yeah, it looks really good, super good. Direct bolt-on. Almost dropped. Almost dropped the camera. Direct bolt-on TIS wheels, guys. Check out. Check this video is just all over the place. Take a look at this brand spanking new Kenworth. We're gonna go for a quick test drive with Mark. Uh, just to make sure that the balance is absolutely perfect because Mark's a little OCD when it comes to that. But uh, we'll check out this brand new Kenworth when we uh, when we get back here real quick. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy. I need to get in this thing. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my, the smell, the smell of a new truck. Guys, this is a beautiful, brand new truck. Brandy new. Look at all of these gauges. Wow, this thing is sweet. This thing is so sweet. Gotta love the big trucks. Gotta love the big trucks. So nice. You know, <clears throat> I will say the one thing about the big hole sleepers is that as you can see right here, you cannot put your seat back at all so taller guys right here you know your foot angle is uh is a little uncomfortable you would really i'd really like to lean this seat back but there is no no more room to do so well, that's a fresh door that is a fresh door seal oh still really nice super cool truck i guess josh and the guys are going to do uh cj's going to do a whole bunch more work to this unit get out here and check it out really nice Josh do you know what wheelbase this truck is it's 300 wow that's what yeah I need 300 in my life no it's like 240 a little small a little small ew come on a little, little, little small boy. I don't know. I, I was going to have Andy drive it back up here, but you keep telling me how booked he is, so I don't know. Just drop her off. 
No, I don't drop things off. I gotta get involved. Wow. Three hundo. Yeah, three hundred three hundred's where it's at. That's very different. That is really cool. Brandy new. Josh, what happened to this Hummer? Oh, this, this I was here. I was here a week ago. I was here a week ago. Yeah, you're gonna Dur you're gonna Duramax swap it, right? No, obviously what? Not. Obviously not. I'm just saying. I was here like a week ago, and now we have a body sitting on the floor. Wow, just straight in pieces. You say the guy's gonna powder coat the frame? Yeah. So we're gonna. Well, we finally had. We finally got the body ripped off because we got our other lips, so we have to tear all this junk out, um, tear it down to the frame, powder coat it. Wow. We're going to do all the suspension is going to come off and get like bead blasted and repainted. I can't wait to get the internet all oh, fired up. Five, yeah. This is a six point turd yeah, right six here. Six point junk. These are, these are slow and... Terrible. So what transmission are you going to run with it? 4080. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's just going to get... Because the, apparently the 4080 fits really well, like you don't have to mess the cross member, because like you have to run a small trans because the engine sits off center and crooked actually. Um, oh, like in your, this chassis. Like the front drive shaft is like super super long because the engine's so far back. Oh wow. And the rear drive shaft is tiny, and I forget what trans case it gets. A 261 maybe. Interesting. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a Hummer yeah. with its body off. Me neither. <laughs> Did it come off real easy? Not really, to be honest. It was... <laughs> if I'm being honest, no, not really. It wasn't bad. I mean, we probably have like four-ish hours into taking it off. Like a lot harder than pulling a body off like a Super G or something. Right. Like that we're used to pulling a body off of. This is such an interesting configuration right yeah, here I mean, with everything like... stacked right behind it. So this will all stay, actually. All the, the whole cooling stack stays for the oh, most really? part. Oh, really? Yeah, I believe. I think it's something different than the trans cooler, though. Um, Does that then, not push the engine really far back? Well, it is, yeah. So the engine will sit in the factory location. And it'll fit, like, firewall everything? Yeah, so it actually gets a three-inch body lift. To oh, clear. to um, stack it underneath. We bought all the spot parts from a company called Mountain Machine. I think they're in Michigan. They yeah. Have that, they have that Hummer, like, yeah. paddle tires. Yep. So yeah, really, that thing's sweet. That's, <sighs> that's a lot of work. Yeah. That's a lot of work. Yeah. Hmm. It's quite a bit of work. That's going to be a project and a half. <laughs> and a half. CJ! <laughs> CJ, you almost done underneath here? Oh, yeah, that would probably be important. It's somewhat important. It does get overlooked sometimes. Air rides for days, boys. Yeah. low for ride height isn't it like normal ride height I mean obviously that's on the ground but yeah Mark Mark's Mark's over here yelling at me that I need that yeah I know I know I know
<laughs> All right, hold, we're zoomed in, we're zoomed in. Hold on, I gotta slow zoom us out. All right, see ya, thank you. See ya. Adios, see ya, Mark. adios. Yeah, see ya. All right, we're out of here. Amigos. We're out of here, dirty diesels, we're out of here. I've seen you way too much in the last uh, month here, so. Hey, it's not bad. All right, I'm gonna take a break. All right, I'll see you in like a month. All right, see you, brother. Mark, what do you say? If you don't, if you if you don't think big trucks are the coolest, they are. Big they trucks, are. big trucks are the coolest. You cannot change my mind. You know that that meme with the guy sitting at the table about change my mind. Big trucks are the coolest. You cannot change my mind. One last look at Josh's truck. One last look at this beautiful 300-inch wheelbase, mm -hmm. Black Beauty, and uh, we've got Mark's truck loaded up. We've got all of the wheels and tires. Another successful day here at Dirty Diesels, your one-stop shop for wheels and tires. We got Mark Stocks, we got the 420s, and we've got the Ridge Grapplers on our 22 by 12 American Forces that I think I'm going to put on Allie's truck. We need them polished up, though. We've got to get them polished up, but we got some 33 1250s on those wheels. Should be a good look. Should be a very good look. But we are out of here. We are rolling back home. See ya, boys. Adios. Oh, yeah. Looking good.